To start with, I wanted to say by no means is this room perfectly clean. There's still a lot of things out of place, but this is as clean as I've been able to get it since I've moved things around. So this is what I look at right when I walk in the door. This is one of those new shelves from Ikea. And on it we have my diamond press with the embossing folders for it. A couple of books I've made. These are my scrapbooks. I have them set up by year. So these ones too are set up by year. These ones as well. On the top, this box is empty. I have another one of them. I have this pink little tub that I used to take with me. My purse that just sits there because it is so pretty. All of these boxes are filled with Project Life extra cards. I do not plan on keeping all of them. I plan on getting rid of a lot of them. Then I have a shadow frame. And the thing in the back is like a little flip book. The Girl Scout cookie box is filled with empty boxes for making flip albums. These boxes here are stuff that I'm not using or planning to get rid of. This is my crop dolls and cards that I have made. And then I have bought in these little drawers. This top one is full of tattered angel glimmer mists. This one is full of stickles. This one is full of cords. And this one is full of glitter. And then I have a, another box of cards. Down in this shelf, I have blank cards and tea light candles. These are smaller albums. I believe they're 8 by 8 albums. I have my a burner, an empty box. This I used to use to shoot my cards. Cinch machine and my envelope folder. These are 12 by 12 photos, some clear bags, and another tray. On the bottom I have a laminator, my box to my fan, gold spray paint, little containers. These little cups have these in them. This one is Printer paper and some Nina cardstock along with school pictures and a paper punch. These are the Zetter or book bindings, I guess the binding parts for the cinch machine and light bulbs. And then back in this corner I have some totes and a table. And then I have this shelf here with this Rascog, I think is how you say it, cart. This cart was ivory and I spray painted it gold. But in the shelf here, paper, little embellishments. Um, this little case holds my enamel looking dots. I have pink and mains. Release stamp set that I won. On the top is my Teresa Ball Collins Ebosser. Then some scrap papers in this box. These boxes up here, one is entirely sweet stamp shop, which would be this one. And then the other one is just my regular clear stamps. So going down in this shelf, I have my paper that I, oops, it's not focusing. This is paper that I use for my Copics. And then some other pattern paper. Focus. And this here is just a bunch of random stuff that I wasn't sure on what I wanted to do with. Um, a box of bling. A kit I need to make. A binder. A box, another thing of stuff. I'm being 100% honest. There's a, quite a few of those. This is a box of stuff as well. And this is a box of empty things. So I have a couple of mailboxes and some cords. Alright. This is my wooden stamps. And a couple of little signs. And I've kept some glasses that people have made for retreats I've gone to.
All right. This is my desk, the new desk that I've put in this room. I really like the little legs like that. That's my chair from the other office, but my daughter is using it for her loom band stuff. Down here I have flowers, plastic bags. This is my craft mat and scrap paper. I have my glass. We are Memory Keepers board, and this is, I believe this is an envelope board punch and my banner pendant punch. On the table I have this turning thing that has a mixture of things. Odds and ends. Crap, I don't hardly ever use anything out of here. This tray has little odds and ends. My planner. Something that I'm working on. This is the new Sweet Stamp Shop release that I just got in the mail. I have another one of these containers. This is the Canon T2i that I shoot my photos on. Cute little gymnastics cup. I did not make this. Rainy Day Geekery did, and I'll put a link down below. This container thing I got at Hobby Lobby. I thought it was so pretty. I don't plan on keeping what I have in it, in it. I need to get some little containers so I can put small little embellishment things in it. This I got from TJ Maxx, and I wanted it to hold my stickers, which it does, and it does really nicely, and I love it. Here is that shelf again. Uh, back here we have that big box there is like the We Are Memory Keepers um, template studio, so big bags. I have a paper trimmer. That is a Nikon K that I'm I no longer use. This here is full of my Disney World scrapbook stuff. The album is sitting on the top. That box is full of tool. And then I have my brother scan and cut down here. Right here, I have my paper rack. This is the paper rack that I no longer like. I just don't want to be able to see it. It drives me crazy. It gives me anxiety. But it is missing six or four pieces here. Daughter and I were playing around. She fell into it. She felt so bad for breaking it. But it's just a thing. She wasn't hurt, so I'm glad about that. And then on the top, I have my silhouette cameo. A little thing I made. And then a little crown. I have this sign. The wall is a chevron stencil from, uh, I think it's called cutting stencils or something like that. And it took me three days to do it. I painted it. Then over here, this basket is full of cards. Skippo is my favorite game to play. I have a printer that no longer prints my digital images, which kind of stinks. I have my Teresa Collins gold selfie, then hole punches, my fuse tool, Cricut pens, extra week of Stella's. This book used to contain all of my Sweet Stamp Shop stamp sets, but I've not updated it. Refills for my Copics and then my punches. The rails are from Ikea. I have the gold Cricut Explore Air. These are paper pads that I've not put away, being 100% honest. Underneath of there, I have this Alex drawer. The top is filled, like there's some pictures up here, and then I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard, a clipboard. Top drawer is full of mats and cords, cards, um, stencils stamps, some other things. More stencils. These are pieces out of the um, Close to My Heart cases. I took out the centers. This has some mink machine things in it. And vinyl. And the desk is from Ikea. Most of my furniture in here is from Ikea. So this is my desk setup. 
And back there are my Copics. So I have those and then I have another round thing here. This container is full of Scrabble letters, my buttons, um, just girly like nail polish and stuff. I like to take my nail polish off all the time. Uh, the Mac that I use most of the time. And then just some more odds and ends, crazy things. I made that up there. There's my fan. These are my stamping up stamps and I think I have some Simply Betty stamps up there. This container has my washi tape. These are greeting farm stamps. Washi tape is in this. The gold jars. These are the albums I'm going to use for my Mexico books. I have the Ranger distress markers. These are the Crazy Bird and Crazy Cat from Tim Holtz. Some flowers. And then back here I have more bags. That's a bag right there. I piled my sweaters up. Uh, cute little sign. My laptop bag. And then I have this rolly cart here. And then this is my desk. I got the gray desk. So these just... These here just carry or hold different things. Like this has markers and embossing powder. This is another what can I throw in it sort of thing. And then under here I have some wood veneer things. This drawer is just another catch-all post-it notes. Lots and lots of post-it notes. And then under my desk looks like this. That's eight and a half by eleven paper. A roll of HTV uh, iron-on vinyl, and then I have this cute little roller cart. Top drawer is embossing powder, stamps, inks. I mean, ink pads, chalk. This is my watercolor drawer. This is this Imagine. So anything that I'm not really using is in this, but this is the eye top stuff. The ribbon cutter, and I have the eye rock. This is just, this is where I put my Misty. And the bottom drawer has containers. On this side, I have. Um, this has twine, a little bit of extra stuff, bling, tape. This is all my ink pads that I use. Most of the time I keep them turned over, sometimes I don't. This is my adhesive drawer. Drawer of pictures and my wipes that I use on my stamps, some markers. These can be used in the Cricut. And this drawer is just a collect-all drawer. This holds my ribbon and other things. Top drawer, ribbon, some more ribbon. Um, these two are tulle. These are pieces of ribbon that aren't long enough to be on a spool, but I still they're still usable. These are my nestabilities, stamping up, dies pretty much. This drawer has my big eboss stuff so it's got like the larger embossing folders and in the bottom is my extra cricket cartridges along with my papers for my greeting farm stamps the closet I just put clothes or I hang clothes up in there and then I have these two more shelves or rascal carts sorry I put all of my Project Life cards in these. And I sort them by name of the box. So they're sorted by name. These are my thickers. And then here is some flowers and some other embellishments. Down here are some more 
And then I have my mink machine sits back here along with things for the mink machine. But I use them mostly for my Project Life cards. And that is my scrapbook room. See the whole... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll post some links down below where I've gotten some things. I hope you have a great day. Bye.